as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. Islam Moors. My, my nationality is Moors. Stop being because your tag is expired. No, it's not. Uh, when I ran it, it's coming back expired. We'll figure it out. Do you have your driver's I license? Just, I just got it. Um, he said, so I bought the car a month ago, and he said that there was a problem with the... Um, I gotta get my glove box on. I have my... Excuse me, ma'am. I hate to burst your bubble, but your Morris nationality card is not a driver's license. So this is about to get interesting because this lady clearly thinks that an internet bought nationality card is going to suffice for identification when the officer clearly asked her for a driver's license. with the um, title, okay. so it was taking a little bit longer, and um, so he renewed my tag. Okay. So I have till May. All right. Now, I don't know if he did it properly. Do you have any paperwork that matches the tag? Where's your ID from? I've honestly never ever seen an ID. Oh, that's my national ID card. From what country? From Melodio, American National. Sorry? I'm a Lodio American national. This lady just said she's an Elodio American national. Ma'am, you are none of that. You are an American citizen. You were born here in the United States. Now, officer, this card that she gave you is just something she paid for from a Morris website, she probably spent about 50 bucks and it is not a proper piece of identification, nor is it a driver's license. I, you know what, and my, my, uh, my travel pass is in the trunk. Your travel pass? Yeah. I, I'm not trying to sound like an idiot, but what country are you from? North American National Republic. North of National Amer Okay, I've never heard of that country. <laughs> Officer, you just screwed that all the way up. She says she's from the Moorish American National Republic. Now, Officer, you're clearly not familiar with this, but this is a fictitious government. It is not real. It is all internet-based, run by a bunch of buffoons. North American National Okay. Are you, do you consider yourself a sovereign citizen? I don't consider myself a sovereign citizen. Alright. Like I said, I don't want to sound like an idiot. I just, right. I'm not sure that I understand this card. Do you have a Florida driver's license? No, I don't. Have you ever had a driver's license from any state? No. Not, not issued. I'm sorry? I have my, I have a one more time, you have what? I have my travel pass. Okay. But I think it's in my trunk. Just so I'm, just so I'm on the same page. Uh, any firearms or anything in the car? No. Okay. Very well. Okay. And where were you born? What country? In U.S. Okay. And where were you born? What country? In U.S. Do you 
have the registration paperwork. Why don't you have a Florida driver's license? Um. Because she's a Moorish American national, a.k.a. a sovereign citizen, and her driver's license is probably suspended or revoked, so she bought into the sovereign citizen script as a workaround to obeying the laws. I think all of the paperwork, everything is in the trust. Okay, but what about a Florida driver's license? No, I don't know. Do you live here in Florida? Um, part-time. Part I came here to actually... I came here to, bear, to bury, bury my fiance. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have that registration paperwork as well? Yeah, but that's not the, that's not the new one. Okay. Well, I just want to see the one that matches the tag that's on the back. The new one that you just gave me, um... Yeah, this matches the one on the back, but it's expired, as I said. I know. I think the new one is in the trunk. Just don't don't reach around. Uh, like I, I just it makes me nervous when people reach around. Okay, Do you sorry. know your social security number? I don't have a social security. Okay, when you're born, they issue you a social security number. Yes, yeah, I don't have one. You don't have it on you, or you don't know it. Officer, because this lady's a more sovereign citizen, she probably thinks she returned the Social Security number and the birth certificate back to the U.S. Corporation. All right, hang tight for a second. If you can figure out what your Social Security number or something, that would be great. Vanessa, listen to me. I've been a cop for a long time. Okay, this is not the first time I encountered somebody that wants to play this little game, and I'm not playing it. Okay? Is your real name Vanessa or not? I'm Viangela Bay. Okay. Viangela Bay. Step out of the vehicle and put your hands straight up in the air. Step out of the vehicle, put your hands on a, on a roof of the car. Right. Put your hands around your back. You're being detained right now until I figure out what's going on. I think you're actually Vanessa. You may identify as Viangela or whatever it is, but I'm pretty sure you're Vanessa. Um, your, new, your new registration, Vanessa and Louie, are the original person. Who's Vanessa? Officer. Vanessa is the all caps name, the corporation. This lady is the flesh and blood human being, something Miss Bay. You got it all twisted, officer, and there's going to be a big lawsuit. Better yet, I want your name and badge number right now and your bond claim number. What's her date of birth? I don't know. You don't know? What's your date of birth? How old are you? Come on, man. Why are you giving me this right time? Yeah, come on. Because you're lying about who you are. That's why. 37 out of 50. I have one detained, possible 99. Can you check with North Lauderdale or Springs for a fingerprint scanner? Come on, man. Why are you giving me Okay. Yeah, come on, because you're lying about who you are. That's Why not? What does the name say on your birth certificate? Okay, just call me over. Who are you guys? Where are you guys? Please, can you guys please call your chief? Call your chief for what? Please, please. Who are you? 
He's going to say, who's that? What name Why were you born out? with? Okay. The An Angela Therese Bay. Ma'am, what do you think these officers were born yesterday? They know that you were not born with the name D'Angela Therese Bay. That is a name that you acquired to try and give yourself a second identity because you're probably a criminal. And these officers know that. It's actually D'Angela Therese Mariega Bay. I'm pretty sure you're Vanessa. Have you ever been arrested before? No. Never in your no. life? No. No drugs, no alcohol. I didn't ask you I that. pray all day and I, I don't do nothing. Yes. I'm, I'm, I don't, no. The car was recently, just a few days ago, was supposed to be switched over. Well, let me explain something to you, okay? It's not my first time dealing with someone, okay, that acts and behaves in the manner in which you're behaving. Let's just say that, okay? I've been a cop for a long time and I've understand it and you've been relatively cooperative but you're lying to me, okay? The more you want to lie and play this game, I already have a unit en route with a fingerprint scanner. We're going to figure out who you are. I believe you to be Vanessa who's the registered owner of this vehicle. If you're lying about your name, you're going to catch more charges. Okay? So I figure... Can you please call the chief of police because... No, the chief's not working. Well then, can you call the lieutenant? Uh, the lieutenant is not working either. Ma'am, calling the chief or the lieutenant is not going to benefit you. They're not going to show up on the scene and then see things your way. So, just stop it already. Would you like to speak to my sergeant? Sure. Okay, absolutely. What's the issue? Because I'm supreme de jure law and I'm only supposed to speak to anybody that's uh, of a higher supreme authority. Why is that? Because of my nationality. You're in the United States? Yeah. Okay. So you understand that driving is, is a privilege, right? Yeah, and I have my travel pass. It's just not a travel pass. You don't need a travel pass to drive. You need a driver's license to drive. You're driving. I'm Aboriginal, Indigenous. It doesn't matter. Life. It doesn't matter. Notifications. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I've listen. I've 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 seen this before. It never ends. Like it's not gonna go the way you want it to go, and you know that. You know that. I don't know why you're making it. So long, and you know that well, you're Broward, not a. You're Broward County also knows, so I'm not too concerned. Broward they, County also knows what they know who I am, so they they might know who you are. Absolutely, they do. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm sorry. So interrupted. What's your address that we can get updated files? But so you're you're traveling on a public roadway, okay? And in the state of Florida, you need to have a driver's license. Just, just for not having a driver's license, that could be an arrest. So what you believe is sovereign immunity doesn't exist. Because you're driving, you're not traveling. Are we on the same page? Now, officer, I'm going to have to slightly disagree with your statement. You just said that this lady was driving and that she wasn't traveling. Now, my disagreement is... That, yes, she is driving, but the only difference is that the fact that she is driving is how she is traveling. You get it? So she's actually doing both. So for you to say that she's not traveling is incorrect because her driving is actually how she is traveling. You're not traveling, you're driving. You're operating a motor vehicle and you're not doing it for commerce. I, I you're am, not doing it for I'm commerce. I'm not from here. It's, it, it, it's the I road laws. The road laws in Florida are the exact same in Nevada, okay? They're all the same in the United States of America. Very good. 
Yeah. 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 So again, your sovereign immunity that you believe you have, the, the, the court doesn't see it that way. It never does. Yes, it does. I've already been through this once. Under what name? Under Angela Bay. That's why I said Broward County knows who I am. What name were you booked under? Angela Bay. And what was that arrest for? I had to pee really bad. So I went to the public. I had, I had to go. I had to go. They took you for, for an ordinance violation? Yeah. That was the only charge? And then they dropped the charges. They changed my name. They gave me a whole new identity and address. And they kicked me out of the jail. So they coached me on my name. They coached me on the address. And I had to give that name in order to get out of jail. It's true. True story. I'm Aboriginal Indigenous. Yes, I am. I believe you. We don't see it that way. Oh, uh, I have proof. Okay. Is this, I'm sorry, is this your car? Or? Yeah, I just took it over. Uh, well, they, so... Louie and the Vanessa ended up having a I think you're making up. You're going to have to have, have a license. And I could pull it out to, to get that to you guys. The chief of police the chief of police should The superior needs to be contacted. He's, they're coming. The sergeant's coming. You can't just wake Sheriff, up the chief. Chief. I know. We, you, I, I you know how this you, works. You see a uh, chief of police as an authority figure? I thought it was just sheriffs. No, the oh. chief, absolutely, 100%. But yeah. not regular cops? Sorry. Yeah. No, I'm not sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Do you have any tattoos on your neck? No. No? I'm sorry, what was that there? So is it... Do you... Do you see any law enforcement? Like, do you, do you recognize officers and deputies, or is it only the sheriff and the chief? Yeah. But we just confirmed the tattoo on her neck and she got a little weird when we started getting into that area and She's like, I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anything. Yeah. 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 I'm not doing none of that unless I'm being arrested. Well, you are being arrested. Because you have a suspended li license and you have active warrants. I'm trying to confirm that those active warrants are you. Why you guys can't identify me? I just gave you my ID. Okay, well, you're saying who you are. I don't mind giving you your fingerprints. Can you my, get fingerprints? My fingerprint is on that ID. Well, that is way too small to verify who you are. Yeah, we don't have a system to run that. If you had a system. social or a passport or I a driver's license from another problem. state. Listen, you may it's, have changed your name, but I know that you're Vanessa. It's in the Vanessa. trunk of the car. Okay. Listen, no. I'm, I'm only, I'm not answering no more questions. I only choose to speak with the lieutenant, the chief, the chief, the sheriff. Okay, so she's willing to speak to the judge, so just haul her behind off to jail. Or the judge. Anyone with an open office letter of acknowledgement. Broward County should know this. Broward County just needs to run my name and don't know exactly who I am. Well, I, I am Broward County, so I'm okay. going to run your information. No, now. I'm not doing no fingerprints. We'll go through this again. All right, well, you can get fingerprint at the jail whether you like it or not. That's what happened well, last time. They were, they were fingerprint you no matter what. So you guys don't want to do that. You guys don't want to do that. Well, I'm okay, telling so you. Well, so if you're not Vanessa, then doing that would confirm that... Listen, what? hey, hear me out. What am I being arrested for? Hear me for? out. Hear me out. You look like Vanessa. I believe for 100% that you are Vanessa. Okay? If you're claiming that you're not Vanessa, Vanessa has active warrants and is going to go to jail. So if you're claiming that that's not you, 
even though you look like the picture, etc. If you're claiming it's not you, then you do the fingerprint, and then we confirm that that's not you, I, and then you'll be on your way. I'm the Angela Bay. Okay. So, are you going to do the fingerprint? No, I'm prove? not doing the okay. fingerprint. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll be able to bond it out. Yeah, you're going to sit so, in jail now. Okay? Why am I being arrested? For active warrants. For active warrants? Yes. I don't have any active warrants. No, I don't. Right, so, are car. you going to read me my rights? Have a seat in the car. Okay. No, I'm not, because I'm not questioning you. Have a seat in the car. Okay. Yeah, no. Again, you guys are gonna get in trouble again for this. Muting for the discussion. Muting for our investigation. So what am I being arrested for? Active warrants. I don't have an active warrant. I just is that under my name? I just told you that. You're arresting me. Lady, I don't know why you keep asking the same question over and over. They already told you why you're being arrested. Now they have to haul you off to jail, fingerprint you to confirm whether or not you are the person who has the active warrants. And nine times out of ten, you are that person. So you will have to answer to those warrants. Just because you bought a nationality card from a Morris American website doesn't mean you actually changed your identity you still are the person who you were before you bought into the Moorish ideology I don't understand why you people don't understand that you still are that person your fingerprints don't change under somebody else's name okay how are you going to arrest me under my sister's name you have the same tattoos as your sister? Uh, yeah, we have a family crest on our wrist, yes. Are you threatening me? No, I'm not. Oh, well, you said it's going to be trouble for me. I'm not sure what that means. No, I'm just saying, like, this is, there's rules that there's rules, you know? Yeah, and I I followed all those rules. I've identified you by your tattoos and your driver's license picture. And I've also attempted to give you an opportunity, since you claim that that's not you, I've given you an opportunity to dispel the fact that I know it's you by doing a fingerprint scanner, which you refused. So... One main jail, six eight two. Hey, can I ask why you ran my tag? Uh, because you don't need probable cause to run a tag. I'm sorry. We just go around and run tags all night. No uh, specific reason. Do you guys have those automatic tag scanners? I do, but that's not why. That then affect your stop. But I mean, it it basically it like it like showed that it wasn't expired. 
on the one that uh, was on your car, I, w I don't know whether the guy gave you a fake tag or if I'm not suggesting that you manipulated it, but the registration paper that you gave me said April and my system says April. Yeah, but the registration was in the truck. I told you so. Well, either way, it's very, you, they're not supposed to be issuing you more than one temporary tag. They should, once your first tag expires, that's why you get a temporary tag, is you get it for like a month, yeah, and then... Yeah, I paid extra money for, for personal, um, custom tags, and I've been calling them, like, non-stop, like, what's up with my tags, what's mm -hmm. up with my tags, like, I paid you extra to put a brush on this, because I didn't want the temp tags on there. He said that there was something wrong with the title. Signing of the title. Well, you gotta be careful with these dealerships. Make sure they're not doing sketchy stuff. Did my t did my car come up as okay? Like I mean, it's registered. It's just expired. But it's not. It's. Like, your name's on it, but it's not... Let me see, hold on. Like, it kind of shows still under their name, but then it shows registered to you. It was supposed to be transferred to Bianca. I mean, it, it is <laughs> It is transferred. It is Bianca No, it's... And he did transfer it? It's in the pro. It's it's transferred to Vanessa. It was transferred to Vanessa or me and on the second round. Vanessa, your real name, your government name, whatever you want to call it. Hey! 